Tupac is part of the Carl Kanai history. What do you connect with the brand personally? Um, first off, it's a brother, you know what I'm saying, with a brand, and it's dope, you know what I'm saying, so when I connect with that, because it ain't too much of that going on now anyway. Uh, so I admire it, I really love the brand, and you know, it's, it's just, it's just cool to have, you know, somebody of, you know, our culture doing, you know, the designing and having good fashion. Because it ain't too much of it out there. So okay. I'd rather be wearing Carl Kanai before I wear some what these other rappers and everybody else is wearing out here. And here's a real question people ask. So you're sitting next to a man that has a lot of history. Yeah. As you're sitting here poly in, you're getting stories. Mm -hmm. Has that helped you with the movie and, and just... How does it feel getting like right direct stuff from Carl as it relates to pop? How does that feel? Um, especially his insight on it was like uh, the the humanity and the, the kindness, you know what I'm saying, of, of pop. So I, everybody has this like, uh, they portray Pac as just a wild guy, you know what I'm saying, he was always turned up, but you know, Carl let me know, fill me in on insight that he was, you know, a kind guy, you know, he was really good at heart, generous, and you know, that's what, that, that kind of helps me along, you know what I'm saying, to, to be like, to be able to have a balance and say, okay, it's not all about just being, you know, extra out and wild and all that shit, so. Okay. Yeah. Carl, what about you? Like, your history, you're dealing with Pac, you got all these pictures and stories. How does it feel to kind of have a carbon copy of him and now this is happening and you're like wo woven throughout the whole flick and the story? Yeah, I think it's legit. You know, it's like crazy. It's like, you know, 20 something years later, it's all coming back to life again and just, you know, be making all the clothes and being able to dress to meet in the clothing and bring back the stories, just really bringing back the element of how Kanai was on the streets back then, the whole nostalgia of the clothing. So we feel real good about it. Um, definitely motivated to make this film happen and make all the wardrobe happen for the film too. So yes. I think it's gonna be a good thing. You know, the stuff is coming out really good right now. So uh, a lot of time and energy is being put into it, but I think it's all gonna be well worth it at the end. So you comes to the theaters. So you're saying that you're actually recreating actual pieces that Pac rocked, huh? Absolutely. We are replicating to the T exactly the fit, the look, the fabrics, the embroidery. You know, we're bringing back that true vintage pieces that um, he wore back then. We're just making it real current right now, so it's gonna be hot. So, you think you're ahead of your time on this one, man? Yeah, somewhat. I think so, but you know, um, fashion has a way of coming back around again. So I think, I guess, this time we'll be ahead of the curve. Dope. Both of y'all. Let me get a Carl Kanai, All Eyes on Me, Big Meech, All Eyes on Me. Let me get that. Yo, what up? It's Carl Kanai checking in. All Eyes on Me. This is Meech checking in. My man Carl Kanai, All Eyes on Meech. <laughs> <laughs> that was dope. And then let's just do that shout out to.